Hey YouTube, it's ICU and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak 5.0.1 on your iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 4th and 3rd generation as well as the original iPad. This does not work on the iPhone 4S or the iPad 2 as of now. And this will be with red snow and keep in mind that this is iOS 5.0.1 beta so you will need to have your IPSW downloaded for 5.0.1 and also keep in mind that this will work when the official 5.0.1 is released. However, the instructions will be slightly different. So just make sure you check to see if there's an annotation telling you that the official 5.0.1 and jailbreak is actually out. But again, I'm going to proceed with this video and I'm going to show you guys that my iPod Touch 4th generation is on iOS 5.0.1 by going into settings, general, about, and at the bottom here for the version, it says 5.0.1. All right, so I am just going to continue with this jailbreak now. So open up Red Snow. Once it's opened, go to Extras and then select uh, this option right here, select IPSW, and then find your firmware, hit Open, and then once it's identified it, you can go back and then hit Jailbreak. Also keep in mind that I will have written instructions as well as the link to download Red Snow on a post and I'll have a link to my post down below in the more info. I will not give you guys the 5.0.1 beta IPSW because again that is against the developer terms. So here we go with Red Snow. We're just going to check the options we want. Right now all we're really concerned about is install Cydia. You can check the other options if you want but uh, make sure you do not check install custom bundle because that will get rid of install Cydia. All right, so just hit next. And then it's saying, please make sure that your device is both plugged in and powered off. And it's going to tell you how to enter DFU mode once you hit next from here. We're gonna do that ahead of time by holding down the home and power button for a total of 10 seconds. Once that 10 seconds is up, let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for about 15 seconds. It should automatically bypass this screen once you've entered DFU mode. As you can see, it's continuing with the jailbreak now. All right, here we go. We have a little pop-up explaining a tethered jailbreak, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that now while I'm waiting for my iPod to continue with uh, the jailbreak process. Basically, tethered means you have to plug it in and run Red Snow every single time you need to boot it up. So that is what tethered means. And uh, there is a semi-untethered jailbreak available. And basically what that means is that you can boot up but you will have limited functionality, such as you cannot use Cydia, or you cannot use anything you've downloaded from Cydia or the mail application. However, you can use all stock applications, including Safari. And I will have a link to my uh, semi-untethered jailbreak down below in the more info. And you do that actually after you jailbreak uh, with this version of Red Snow. So you run the semi-untethered jailbreak on top of this jailbreak. But keep in mind, even if you do have the semi-untethered jailbreak, you will actually have to rerun Red Snow and do the just boot mode to boot it into the tethered state. So you can use Cydia and everything you've downloaded from Cydia. The semi-untethered jailbreak is simply to power it on if it accidentally gets turned off and you're not near a computer. All right, so here we go. We're going to slide it and you will notice that Cydia is a white icon and you will not be able to open Cydia. That is because the first time it powers on, you will need to do the just boot mode no matter what. So here we go, Cydia does not work right now and Safari will not work either, it will crash, same as Cydia. Actually, that's surprising. Most of the time Safari crashes though, but this time it did not. So we're just going to exit out of red snow and we are going to open it back up just to make sure it clears everything out. So what you have to do now is go to extras and then go select IPSW, 
pick your 5.0.1 IPSW, and then hit just boot. It's the top option. And then it's going to say the same thing. Please make sure that your device is both plugged in, powered off, and it's going to prepare you to enter DFU mode. We're gonna do that ahead of time again by holding down the home and power button for a total of 10 seconds. Once that 10 seconds is up, let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for roughly 15 seconds and it will automatically bypass this screen. All right, so here we go. Again, it is booting tethered and it's exploiting with Lime Rain right now. Okay, so this is how you know that you are in the tethered state because it does show the pineapple logo instead of the apple logo when it's booting up. Uh, while I'm waiting for this to happen, I'm going to take this time to tell you guys that you can gain additional entries to my All Things Apple giveaway in this video simply by rating it up favoriting it and leaving a comment down below in the comment section with the phrase all things apple giveaway if you don't know what that giveaway is or how to actually enter or the prerequisites to enter then i will have a link to a video describing the all things apple giveaway down below in the more info all right so now that it's booted tethered we do have Cydia. And we're just going to wait for it to load up here. And that's another thing. This is why the jailbreak actually went so fast because it has to prepare the file systems. Uh, you can either check it to do that uh, while it's actually jailbreaking or when it's done jailbreaking when you open up Cydia, but it has to do that regardless. And again, that is why it's doing it right now. And that's why the jailbreak before was so fast because it wasn't preparing the file system and now it has to. So we are just going to let it do this. Please make sure to not exit out of it, lock your device or turn it off. All right, and I'm actually just letting it play through the entire thing. Just make sure to leave it open. It will take some time to prepare the file system. All right, there we go. It did finish. So we're going to slide to unlock because it did respring after it finished. And now we do have Cydia, regular icon, and we can open it up and it will work. So we're just gonna hit user to that. And I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and show you guys that I am indeed on iOS 5.0.1. In case you didn't believe me, I'm going to show you that Cydia does check out and it does say 5.0.1.
right at the bottom it says iPod Touch 4G, iOS 5.0.1, Cydia 1.1.1. So I hope you guys liked this video and I hope it helped you guys. Remember this is for iOS 5.0.1 beta and this will work when the official 5.0.1 does come out and I will be doing a video covering that and updating you guys on that as well. So I hope you guys liked this video and until next time, this is ACU signing out.